Conflicts and warfare have mostly resolved around land disputes and other minor issues. But reciprocity was the guiding principle of social relations in the traditional CY societies. Let's take a look at the story regarding two brothers-in-law who got married to two sisters. In the CY language, they are called Kimaruko. Their names are Kompaka and Pirituri. Kompaka married the eldest, whilst Pirituri married the younger sister. They were both given a fair share of land to work on with their wives. But Kompaka felt that his piece of land wasn't enough. So he then cleared up a piece of Pirituri's block of land without notifying him. Pirituri noticed that part of his block was cleared. So he put a traditional stop work sign. That was the start of the conflict. Pirituri went back to the village in anger, burning with himself and bashed Kompaka badly to the extent of him spitting blood. In cases like this, it might turn out in payback if Kompaka's relatives retaliate because of him losing blood. In order to calm the situation, the chief, the Tukutukuna, must bring the payment called Sime Sime, meaning, leave me alone and we solve the issue. This is the first part of the mediation process till the reconciliation and the final closure of the issue. It might not take long when the parties are in agreement with the continuation of the process into reconciliation. During the reconciliation stage, there are a couple of rituals or activities that take place. The first phase is Hu Hu Ketu. It is the exchange of shell money by both parties. After the exchange of shell money or pesi, the reconciling parties perform another ritual called Irima O. It is symbolized by the chewing of betel nut with mustard and lime. Kompaka and Pirituri will exchange the betel nut, chew it red, and spit it into a hole that is dug up for the ceremony at the agreed location. To cement the peace, the next phase in the reconciliation phase is called Rokutoto, simply means to bury the past and it is symbolized by the planting of a young coconut plant and it means that the past must be buried and the two brothers-in-law must not argue or fight with each other but instead work together in peace in a harmonious way. The coconut will be a sign of peace as it will bear fruits and the people will see it and be reminded of the reconciliation terms of the case which was ended in a peaceful manner. New day is dawning and a voice 
is calling. Stretch your hands and land it with your heart. Across the mountain ranges, let's come together as one.